The dark bleach look is a great way to apply an intense and grungy effect for your photos. Let me jump into Perfect Effects and show you how to apply it. Once you're inside effects on the left hand side of your screen, just go to the On One Favorite Looks section and click on On One Dark Bleach. Once you've added it to your photo, there are quite a few filters on the right hand side that you can edit. I think the most important is the bleach bypass filter, which is down at the bottom, and you can select it to play around with the intensity of the dark bleach. You can edit the brightness of your image if you need to lighten or darken the entire photo, and you also have the ability to adjust the saturation. Sometimes it gets a little oversaturated, so this might be a great opportunity to lower that down. The other really important filter in the filter stack that pulls this entire effect together is the top split tone. This is what applies that cool blue to the shadows and that light orange tone to the highlights. If it's a little too intense for you, just jump up to the top and play around with the layer opacity to lessen the style. Once you're done, just go down to the bottom right hand corner and click save and close. The dark bleach look can be used on lots of different types of photos. I have an aerial shot that I took out of a plane, and this has that dark bleach look on it. It intensifies all of the highlights and the shadows. It really makes that cloud in the foreground look very bright, but at the same time gives it that darker, moodier look. It also works great on outdoor portraits. The detail that comes along with the dark bleach look is great if you have an image that either needs more detail or already has it, which is really cool. Plus, if you don't have any outdoor portraits and you like to shoot in a studio, it also looks really cool on indoor portraits. It adds a grungier styling to an indoor studio lighting setup, which I think is really nice. So it doesn't matter what type of image you're gonna be using this with, the dark bleach look is there and works across the board on lots of different types of photos.